Panther design and so I'm gonna make a little demonstration of it right now all of my designs come from something that's been done a little more complicated or maybe even sometimes a little too simple and I just add or take away so that I can still make cool designs in a long line situation because nobody truly loves to wait in the longest lines <laughs> we all know this um, so I'm gonna start with three black balloons, 260s, one chrome silver, that's a 260, and usually I just use these four balloons, but I got one of these today, oh I forget what it's called now, what is this called? It is a metallic graphite balloon, so I think I'm going to make his abs out of metallic graphite. I don't like the color for the whole body, it's too see-through, but it might be a cool ab choice. That is um, if you have the time. Okay, let's blow up our balloons. Okay, we start with our three black balloons. Um, they're not perfect. They're all about four and a half fingers to the tip there. That's four fingers. It's like about four and a half, give or take. So we'll start with two of them like that. This one is just going to be the arms. So I have about four and a half fingers on that one, but it, it could be a little bit smaller. Not a big deal. Okay. So we're going to start with the head. This is a Pokemon design that I sort of swapped around. We're going to do one ear, which is about two fingers, and one pinch twist. And take the other one. Two fingers, one pinch twist. You've got two balloons, two ears. Push some of the air out. Boop. Get a little... Okay. Now we're gonna make the top of the head. So that's about four finger lengths. You're gonna twist that into the pinch twist. Twist that into the pinch twist. So now you have two ears, two pinch twists. Two four fingers for the top of the head. We're going to make a triangle. This is going to be the side of the head and the side of the head. They're about four fingers in length. Twist that about three times just to make sure it stays. Then if you have a balloon that has more air in it, this one, this one not so much, um, we're going to use that to fill in the face. See that hole? You don't have to do this part, but it really does sort of add something really nice. So that's about three fingers, twist. You're gonna push that three finger bubble through the head. Then you're gonna three finger, twist. You're gonna bring that back down to the neck. Now you have his face, his ears. Um, and we're going to do his shoulders next. That's about two fingers and a pinch twist. Next, two fingers and a pinch twist. Now we're going to do the torso. Woo, I wish I had a torso like Black Panther, let me tell you. That's about four, four fingers. And try to match them up. I mean, the biggest thing about balloon twisting that some people fail to think about is that every single design, including your simple designs like a, um, like a dog balloon, like your simple one balloon dog balloon, if they don't have the same size legs, or if their neck is really weirdly long, or their nose is weirdly long and their ears are pro ill proportioned, it looks bad. And even if um, the people don't know what you're talking about or don't really know why it looks bad, it still looks bad. And it looks a lot cuter if it's proportionate. So always think about that when you're making a design, any design. 
Okay, next we're going to do two quick pinch twists to make the, the butt and the crotch area. Excuse me. Um, so that's about two fingers. Now, I do my double pinch twists really fast. Some people do them individual, but that takes extra time. So learn how to do it this way. <laughs> Sorry, I'm being snarky. Um, so I, I make two finger bubble, and then I pinch them at the same time. They only need one pinch. And then you can sort of push, finesse the legs in there. So let's put it upside right. We've got the pinch twist. Let's make some legs. That's four fingers. Pinch them together. Now you should have enough at the end here to make a tiny bubble and a pedal twist. That is going to make your foot. You've got a lot here, so we're just going to get rid of it. Boop! And you're going to make a pedal twist and just put that extra around. Now see, I kind of let a little air out so that our feet could be the same size. Well, for the most part. Approximately, approximately. This foot is clearly bigger. It's okay, buddy. It's okay to have one big foot. Okay, he's almost done. He just needs his arms. So, you're going to take your third black balloon. I have about four and a half fingers. We're going to do a very small pedal twist with a pinch twist. You're going to make his forearm about two fingers and a pinch twist. You're going to make his uh, amazing bicep. That's two fingers and a pinch, or no pinch twist. Two fingers, twist it. You're going to add that to his shoulder. Then you're going to take it across his chest twist it first, makes it easier to get into the shoulder if you twist it first. Stick it around that shoulder. Try not to turn the pinch twist with the attachment because that puts a lot of stress on this balloon if you start twisting a pinch twist too much. It's already a tiny balloon. Okay, then we're going to do a bicep. That's two fingers. Pinch twist. Two finger uh, forearm, pinch twist, and a small pedal. Ah! That's my way of thoroughly having a party. I mean, it's not a party unless you leave the room a mess, right? Ask Megan Raisby about that. She loves that. Don't you, Megan Raisby? Kidding. <laughs> Okay, um, that was actually an inside joke about me because apparently I'm a slob when I balloon twist. But I have actually been told that you're not a real artist unless you make a complete mess. Um, okay, so this is the front of his face. We're going to make his eyes first. Hang on, I'm going to put that down, getting ahead of myself. We're going to make his eyes first. You're going to take the nozzle of the silver balloon. Now the silver balloon has, again, about four and a half at the end there. You don't really need a ton of air in this balloon, um, especially since the chrome balloons have a lot of give. So you are going to wrap that around that head of the pinch twist. doesn't matter which one. You're going to make about a two finger bubble, twist it. Take it down to the front of his face, make another two finger bubble, and wrap it around that second ear. Now, if I weren't trying to make this extra fancy for the video, I would just take the rest of this balloon and make the abs. But I'm gonna try something new. So then we're gonna take one of these graphites and make some abs. It's about four and a half fingers. Doesn't need to be huge because it's just abs. I mean, I know he's got some big abs, but it doesn't have to be nuts. Okay, so we're gonna take the nozzle, we're gonna wrap it around the shoulder blade. You're gonna take a three finger bubble, twist, and a two finger bubble, twist. You're gonna take this 
next part and wrap it around his, that's right, crotch. Oh baby, oh yes, oh yeah, I don't worry. I won't look, it's against your contract. Okay, I'm gonna look. Um, <laughs> you're then gonna do another two finger bubble and you're gonna wrap these two around each other. So you kind of have to finesse this a bit. I just had to push up on this to give myself some space. So you see that bubble that just like creates some space when you're doing these details. Very helpful. So I'm just gonna roll these together. There we go, there's some nice abs. We do some three fingers. Take it back up to the next shoulder. Now, as you can see, I already drew his face on. Not because I didn't want to show you, but because my camera was being silly. And I really don't have time to redo the whole thing. So here we go. We've got our Black Panther design. Yeah. Now, if you're wondering what marker I used, I used a silver Sharpie. Pretty awesome. Um, this design up here is really what makes the Black Panther. So those lines are key, even if you're face painting it. If you miss those lines, it kind of just looks like a black mask. But if you don't have time, if you're like, got 30 kids in line, forget it. You don't need that part. Just give them a black balloon with some silver eyes. You don't even have to give it abs. It'll still look awesome. Um, the other markers that I really like, though, uh, are Qualitex markers. Um, I really like the gold and the silver. I just happen to be out of silver Qualitex marker right now. But I get those from Brody's, Brody Balloons in Chicago. They're pretty awesome. Um, and anyway, there's our guy. Here's another pointer with this guy. If you really want to go fast, and you're especially if you're outside, it's summertime, these are black balloons. They're going to pop left and right. Pardon me. Oh gosh, all that hard work at the gym, gone. Um, you can leave out the abs. This balloon is great by itself. And what I like to do, especially when you're like outside in a field, like on the 4th of July or something, you take the kid's fist and you say, give a fist! And you just push his abs right onto their fist. And then they can really like make him fly, punch around, make him move. Hopefully that keeps it on the child long enough. You see, the only thing I don't like about this one is that guy goes down for, but they're not paying that much attention. Um, anyway, thanks for coming along on my Black Panther design. I'm Michelle from Chicago Balloon Twister, and I'll see you around town. Bye.